So that's right. Are you hearing what the uh, what, what started all of this? We're hearing that two people got into some type of argument. Is that what you've heard? No, I just heard they just start shooting randomly. Uh, uh, it appears that they have a neck collar on yeah. uh, and they're covered up. The, the other patient uh, only had a bandage on, on his leg. Uh, it appears that this patient may be in slightly more serious condition. It has happened again. Let's go. It was a bookstore. They locked the doors and told all us stay in, get away from the doors, things like that. But so it was like an impromptu lockdown in certain buildings. Yeah, like everyone was panicking. Like everybody was running, screaming, crying, things like that. And Kevin, you told me that you heard a series of gunshots. Approximately how many did you hear? It was like five gunshots, and they said someone was hit in the cafeteria, somewhere in the student lounge. That's where the majority of the crowd came running from, but I didn't really see anybody get shot. Like that. And just a moment ago, you were telling me that it's pretty chaotic on campus right now. Mm -hmm. What are you seeing on campus? What are students uh, experiencing? It's a lot of groups of students in the parking lot and outside on the outskirts of the parking lots, but it's a lot of cop cars and helicopters just swerving, going real fast all on campus. Situation. Now, Keenan, you told me that the first alert you had was with someone yelling, active shooter. Yeah. A student ran into the bookstore screaming there was someone with a gun, and... We didn't really take it seriously, but she was crying and kind of stumbling all over herself. And when the, I guess the owner or the runner of the bookstore locked the doors and told everybody to back up, we started taking yeah. it seriously, and everybody kind of got back, kind of spooked everybody. Now, Keevan, was there any official alert sent to students from campus or administration about this situation here? Not that I know of. I haven't seen any administration at all come give any kind of words and anything to anybody. They so just, no email, no text? It was strictly mm -hmm. word of mouth? No, yeah. He was... The guy who was running the bookstore told everybody to exit the bookstore and head immediately to your left. And like, no one go to the right because they're shutting down whatever that little spot was with the shooting. And did it appear to you that the campus or at least that bookstore had some type of plan in place for an emergency like this because you said he immediately locked yeah. the door? He immediately locked the door. It was no hesitation. He immediately locked it. No one else was let into the bookstore. He made everyone back away from the windows like... He handled himself very professionally. Now, Pox, give me an idea of where on campus this actually happened and what you heard earlier. You told me uh, the series of gunshots. Yeah, it was, I, I want to say five. I want to say five definite gunshots, so what we can hear. But it's approximately about 20 feet away from the door of the bookstore to the breezeway in between the cafeteria and the library. So, okay. yeah, You know, Melanie, Keevan was just explaining to me uh, the logistics uh inside the uh, campus there. He told me that, uh, because we were hearing conflicting information about it happening outside the library and outside the cafe, uh, Keevan explained that uh, he was inside the cafe, which is also called the Student Center, and there's a breezeway between uh, that Student Center and the library, and that's supposedly where the uh, action, where that uh, incident took place. I was, wait I was waiting for my English class to start in the academic building, room 163. And it was five minutes before I was about to start, and all of a sudden I heard rapid shots firing, and people started rushing in the hallway, and um, a few students even came into the our room seeking shelter, and we closed the door, and we put the table against the door, and we were hiding, and I was just trying to call my mom, so I was okay, and I was just... And about 30 minutes, 30 minutes later, the police came in and they said, um, put the hands on your hand and to run out because the, the, I guess there is still another person on the roof. So it was very scary. You just everything that happened to you. Amanda, how many other students were there with you? In my class? Yes. Um, about 25, 30. And did you ever see anything? You said some other students came into your classroom um, to get out of the hall. Did you ever see anything or anyone to, or, to know about how far off the shots were from your classroom? No, I didn't know. It was in the hallway that we were in, not too far away. They sounded very close, the shots. How did. close is your room there to the library? Is the library close? The library is pretty close. It's the building next to us. Okay. <laughs> and I know everything was happening so fast, Amanda. Do you remember how many shots you heard? Five. Five or six. Five or six gunshots? Yes, sir.
What, and and he, what's your name, sir? Alfred. Uh, tell me what you are hearing and what you know. Well, it started at the cafe where I was standing at first, and it started shooting. Two, two people got in an argument. There was also a girl in it, too. So that also instigated into a, a fight, and after that, it started shooting. One person walked away, thought it was over with, and another, another guy started talking, and they turned around and started shooting. So it doesn't appear, just to confirm for our viewers and what we're learning here, it doesn't look like somebody came into the campus and started no, shooting. No, it was actually from the school, someone that said actually goes to the school. Do you know what the argument was about? I don't know, but what I, when I heard it was over a, a, a woman, a lady, a girl. Were other students, like Will was saying, just ducking down to get out of the range of fire? Did anyone else get injured? Uh, not from what I've heard, just three, three people. What are your thoughts on this, given the, what just happened in Connecticut? These shootings keep happening, it seems. Are you concerned about school security? Uh, yes, I really am. I think they should have more, more policemen, more law enforcement around. So stuff like this won't actually happen. I am just so surprised that this happened in Texas, out of all places. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, hold on, guys. We're getting live feed right now. Uh, someone got... Uh, footage on their cell phone of the shooting from the inside of the of the of the college. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go play it right now. Let's go. Yosemite Sam. It's Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam. Yosemite. Yeah, Yosemite Sam. Now all of you, <laughs> clear out of here. People, it's Texas. What do you expect? I'm LRJ. Rate, comment, and subscribe because you be glad you did. Comment down below and let me know. Do you think that um, this whole school shooting, committing suicide, the whole new trend again on the news? Do you th do you think that all these school shootings are just doing this so they can get money from the government, so they can go buy other stuff with to say we need more security, uh, guns is out of control in the schools now, our metal detectors are broken, they don't work. Um, type of stuff to get more financial aid from the government.